Hey everybody, my name is Alex, and it has been a while since I've posted a video. I have been hard at work on a lot of things, and one of those things is Nodemon. And I have a problem where I just have way too many Space Mesh nodes, and I don't want to log into each of my different hosts and manually go through. I mean, I have some graphs from Grafana, and I have some other things that help me monitor my nodes, but as far as layers go and trying to understand the statuses of different nodes and seeing all that in one place, I don't really have a good solution until Nodemon. So I built this app to basically be an aggregator of node information. It's still early. Uh, I've got a lot of new features that have been added to this application. Let me get it loaded up here. When you run it, the first thing you're going to see is this new dashboard and this is you can access this at any time by pressing the D key or at the bottom here you're gonna see a list of menu items so D for dashboard and for nodes L for layers S for settings and Q to quit and at first it's loading this data here you're gonna see this loading data and then you'll see it eventually populate once it's queried all of the nodes so we have five nodes here a total of 193 space units, that is 12 terabytes or 1200 or 12,000 gigabytes, 12 terabytes. No nodes are offline, all my nodes are synced. Total of 35 layers, last completed layer for the network. So this isn't for me, these aren't assigned layers, uh, is 32,928. But the next assigned layer that I have out of all five of these nodes. It's aggregating all of those into 35 layers, and it's telling me that the next layer of these five nodes together is 32,953. So that will uh, occur on November 5th at 11.05, and that's in about two hours. So I've got a two-hour wait period, and we can see that's 25 uh, layers to get there because we've got to go from 28 to 53. So this is the aggregate view, and this is super helpful if you just want to leave this up and that's all you want to look at. Uh, it's kind of nice, and you can see what's going on in one little dashboard. Now, if you want to get a more detailed view, you can go over to the nodes, and this is going to be your table of nodes. And you can see, because these are IP addresses, they're doing this little weird thing. I'm going to see if there's a way to fix this, but you might just be kind of stuck with uh, these weird... Uh, views here you can see okay the last at the top here we have the last updated time every five minutes is when I have this set to query eventually you'll be able to modify that but really five minutes is ideal you shouldn't really need to modify that you can go into the code and modify it if you really need to but I wouldn't suggest doing anything more often than five minutes you can extend the time longer but I wouldn't go uh, less than five what we have here is the name so whatever you named it in your config the status, and that's basically whether it can actually query gRPC uh, or not with the node. Uh, the version, IP address, peers, so how many peers it has. I'm writing public private, so these top two are the public and these are all private. Whether it's synced, what the top verified and synced layer are, they should all be relatively close. Smashing, yes, these are all smashing. Post state, state's complete, so all of these have actually uh, completed their, their post data. 56, 56, 27, 27, um, and then the Gibby bytes and the layers. So if we add up these layers, that's 20, 35, and if we go back to dashboard, we can see 35 total assigned layers. So jumping back into notes here. If I want to get more detailed view, I can actually click into these. So you can scroll with your keyboard or you can actually select it with your mouse. I typically prefer mouse because I'm not actually on the specific Ubuntu server instance where I wouldn't have a keyboard or uh, where I wouldn't have a mouse. So then I would be forced to use only the keyboard. So let's click into this first one. And this isn't totally built out yet. We have a back button at the top so I can press that at any time to get back. I can also press the B key, so you can see my mouse is just over here. I can press B, and that's going to bring me back. So if you're just using a keyboard, note that you can use the B key to go back. It shows the last updated time. There's going to be log files here. I it's It's been a while in the making. It's not trivial to get these log uh, entries in here. 
it's not so much hard to get it from the node, it's hard to display it nicely in the UI. So that's coming, I'm just learning some things and I'll, I'll get it added eventually. But on the right hand side here, this will automatically update every time uh, the, the nodes are queried. But we can see the node ID, we can see the coin base that the rewards are going to, we can see the assigned layers, we can see the post state, we can see where the directory uh, for the data is, the space units and the size. I'll add even more information here. If there's anything that's missing that you want to see, feel free to let me know uh, and we'll get it added. It's pretty much anything that's available like in general I should be able to get. Uh, I will add not in not at the node screen, but there's going to be another screen called transactions and rewards, and I'm going to start querying like the state database to get information about uh, the different nodes. So uh, there'll be a lot more information here, but for the specific node view, this is what it looks like right now. We'll eventually have some logs here, but we don't have it right now. And oh, one more thing: if you click into one, it kind of stinks having to click back out, then go to two then click back out and go to three. You can actually just press the left and right keys. So you can see I'm on, if, if you look at the title bar up here, it shows you which node you're on. So right now I'm on three. If I click right, then I'm on four. If I click right, then I'm on five. So you can actually just scroll through all of your nodes uh, just by pressing the left and right keys. So pretty cool functionality there. I think it's a lot easier than just going back and forth on the table. All right, this is what's cool, is we have the layers here. So we can see these are all of the, it's sorted by when they occur. So starting November 3rd, there was one at 2.40 a.m. And then you can see the dates uh, are increasing or you know further away. And this combines all of the nodes and all the layers together. And you can see basically when you're going to have layers that occur. So November 5th, 11.05, that's the one we talked about. Remember on the dashboard, it's showing the next layer. It's basically pulling from this and saying, okay, this is the next layer that hasn't already occurred. And uh, you can also just see all of this um, so that it's kind of like a nice single view of all of your layers. And this will scroll if you run out of space, you know, you're going to be able to scroll down with your uh, keyboard or your mouse, uh, and you can just see the layers, which is really cool. You get kind of like, if you want, need to take your node down for some reason, or you need to reboot to your computer. I know that like I don't have a lot of time right now. Actually, it's like two hours before this happens. So I could like restart my host and it'd be fine. Um, so this is pretty cool. Uh, probably my favorite thing so far is this like layer thing, because this is what I was really missing. There's like nowhere to get this. There's nowhere to get all of your nodes together with their layers. So this is kind of like a a new thing. <laughs> and there's going to be an export key. So you'll be able to export this into like a CSV. Um, that way you don't have to always have this running if you don't want to. So that will be coming. There'll be an export um, functionality that will come in here. You'll probably just have to press the E key. It's not implemented yet, but that's a pretty simple thing to do. So we'll do an export function um, here. You can scroll and stuff, but you can't actually click into any of these. Uh, they don't. There's no data really to show uh, for these. So maybe in the future, you'll be able to see the rewards you got for them. And there might be a column for if you've received a reward for it, but there's not an easy way to get that right now. Settings, there's nothing here. Uh, again, there will be some settings that you'll be able to do to adjust some units and maybe like refresh rates and stuff, but um, and maybe like column, like what, what columns show. Like if you don't care about uh, the top verified and synced, we could you'd maybe be able to disable those or something through the settings. So just things in the future that uh, we may or may not include, you'll find them in the settings. And I'm just going to quit and then show. Sometimes it, it hangs there for a little bit. That was actually pretty pretty nice. Uh, it stopped right away. But it's got to close out of some connections and uh, exit out of them some things. So if it takes a little while, just let it resolve itself. It's usually within like 20, 30 seconds. But let's load back in. When you first start it up, I showed you before, it does the loading screen here. It's the same for nodes. You're going to have this loading, uh, harvesting some potatoes. 
And that's same for layers and nodes. So you're not going to be able to see these until the nodes get queried. And that does take a little while. Uh, so hang tight. You can just leave it on this screen and you can see it populates as soon as all the nodes are queried. So just be a little patient. Um, last thing, I'm not a developer. I'm not even really that good at coding. I'm learning basically these frameworks as I build this. So you're probably going to run into some edge cases where things don't load. If you find bugs, uh, you, either, you got basically two options. One, you can wait until this has no bugs, which is likely going to be never. Um, or you can provide some feedback and help me fix the problem. And then we have a better piece of software. So two options there. Hopefully you choose the right one. Um, this is of course free to use. I do, I, I'm not big on like donations, but I do spend a lot of time on this. So if you're willing, honestly, the best thing you can do is subscribe to my YouTube channel just because I'm trying to get a larger following. But if you're feeling you know, generous, I do have my, uh, in the dashboard here, I've got the um, Coinbase for where I'm accepting donations. Basically, you know, if I'm seeing donations come in, it's going to be a little bit more motivating to add new features and do things. If you want a specific feature added that's not here, donations, you know, will help prioritize that feature. So uh, no guarantees. Like I don't have release dates. I, I this isn't my day job, you know, I'm for like uh, it's for my own use for the most part. But again, I like doing this for the community because I think this helps, you know, smaller node people that can't you know or that don't have time to like build software like this they can use this and, and have a good view um, so hopefully it's helpful give me some feedback let me know if it's good or bad um, if it's bad let me know how I can improve it and if you have any suggestions on features I'm slowly running out of ideas on like what else to add here I still have a lot uh, but feel free to throw out some features and make sure you subscribe and like this video. It really does matter to me, so uh, I would appreciate that. And I will end the video here. Hopefully you have uh, a lot of fun with this. I'm definitely going to be using it every day, and I'll see you in the next video.